gut and women's health are so intrinsically linked. I wish it's something that more women knew about, talked about, researched, um, and really brought to light. Because what we do know is that if you take all of the immune cells in your body and add them all up, 75, now almost closer to 80% of them live in the gut. If we're talking about hormones, which are oftentimes a response to your immune system, you now know that what happens in the gut doesn't stay in the gut. It affects the immune system and that lets the hormones know, do I have to work harder? Do I have to work less? Or do I just have to go into overdrive and go into a state of survival? And so for a lot of women, whether it's fertility, whether it's hormonal imbalance, whether it's acne, whether it's a libido, you want to start in the gut and see, is there something that your body's fighting that it doesn't need to fight, where it creates this sense of threat for the rest of your body? Because what we do know is that the body will always choose survival, which is that big flashing red siren showing that something's wrong, over reproduction, which is your balanced hormones, which is your relaxed mood, which is everything that makes you feel good. It wants to put you in that state where it doesn't want the threat and it'll do anything, which means that everything else suffers.